In this video we share Our Lady's prophetic messages to Father Stefano Gobi on our time and persecution of the Church. These prophetic messages of Our Lady, are from the 90s, and were given to Father Stefano Gobi about our time and the persecutions of the Church, of you Catholic brethren. The source is in the blue book entitled, To the Priests Beloved Sons of the Madonna, by Father Stefano Gobi, where he reports all the locutions and prophecies of her during her cenacles between the 70s and the end of the 90s, and where the Madonna on other occasions explained the book of Revelation to this charismatic priest. This message to Father Gobi is dated December 31, 1992. The last night of the year. The end of times. Allow yourselves to be docilely taught by me, beloved children. In this last night of the year, gather yourselves in prayer and in listening to the word of your celestial mother, prophetess of these last times. Do not spend these hours in the din and dissipation, but in silence, in recollection, in contemplation. I have repeatedly announced to you that the end of time is approaching and the coming of Jesus in glory. Now I want to help you understand the signs described in divine scripture, which indicate that his glorious return is near. These signs are clearly indicated by the Gospels, by the letters of St. Peter and St. Paul, and are being realized in these years. The first sign is the spread of errors, which lead to the loss of faith and apostasy. These errors are propagated by false teachers, by famous theologians who no longer teach the truths of the Gospel, but pernicious heresies, based on erroneous and human reasoning. It is because of the teaching of errors that true faith is lost and the great apostasy spreads everywhere. Be careful and do not be deceived. Because many will try to deceive many people. False prophets will come and deceive many. The day of the Lord will not come before there has been the great apostasy. They will try to spread disastrous heresies and will even go against the Lord who saved them. Many will listen to them and live, like them, an immoral life because of them, the Christian faith will be despised. Out of the desire for wealth, they will cheat you with wrong reasoning. The second sign is the outbreak of wars and fratricidal struggles, which lead to the predominance of violence and hatred and to a general cooling of charity, while natural disasters such as epidemics, famines, floods and earthquakes are becoming more and more frequent. When you hear of wars, near or far, do not be afraid, it must happen. Peoples will fight against each other, one kingdom against another kingdom. There will be famines and earthquakes in many regions. All this will be, only the beginning of greater sufferings. Evil will be so widespread that the love of many will grow cold. But God will save those who resist until the end. The third sign is the bloody persecution of those who remain faithful to Jesus and his gospel and remain strong in the true faith. Meanwhile the gospel is being preached in every part of the world. Think, beloved children, of the great persecutions to which the Church is subjected and of the apostolic seal of the last popes, especially of my Pope John Paul II, in bringing the proclamation of the gospel to all the nations of the earth. You will be arrested, persecuted and killed. You will be hated by all for my sake. Then many will abandon their faith, they will hate and betray each other. Meanwhile the message of the kingdom of God will be announced throughout the world, all of them. The peoples will have to hear it. And then the end will come. The fourth sign is the horrible sacrilege, committed by the one who opposes Christ, that is, by the Antichrist. He will enter God's holy temple and sit on his throne, making himself worshipped as God. This one will come to stand against all that men worship and call God. The wicked will come with the power of Satan, with all the force of false miracles and false wonders. He will use all kinds of evil deceptions to do evil. One day you will see in the holy place the one who commits the horrible sacrilege. The prophet Daniel spoke of it. Whoever reads, seeks to understand. Beloved children, to understand what this horrible sacrilege consists of, read what is foretold by the prophet Daniel. Go, Daniel, these words are hidden and sealed until the time of the end. Many will be purified, made white, whole, but the wicked will continue to act wickedly. None of the wicked will understand these things, but the wise will understand them. 
Now, from the time when the daily sacrifice is abolished and the abomination of desolation erected, there will be 1,290 days. Blessed is he who waits patiently and reaches 1,335 days. Holy Mass is the daily sacrifice, the pure oblation that is offered to the Lord in every part, from sunrise to sunset. The sacrifice of the Mass renews that made by Jesus on Calvary. Accepting the Protestant doctrine, it will be said that the Mass is not a sacrifice, but only the Sacred Supper, that is, the memory of what Jesus did in his Last Supper. And so the celebration of the Holy Mass will be suppressed. This abolition of the daily sacrifice consists of the horrible sacrilege committed by the Antichrist, which will last for about three and a half years, that is, 1,290 days. The fifth sign is made up of extraordinary phenomena, which occur in the firmament of the sky. The sun will darken, the moon will lose its shine, the stars will fall from the sky and the powers of the sky will be shaken. The miracle of the sun, which took place in Fatima during my last apparition, wants to show you that you have now entered the times in which these events will take place, which prepare you for the return of Jesus in glory. Then the sign of the Son of Man will be seen in heaven. All the peoples of the earth will weep, and men will see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven, with great power and splendor. My beloved and children consecrated to my Immaculate Heart, I wanted to teach you about these signs, which Jesus indicated to you in his Gospel, to prepare you for the end of time, because they are being fulfilled in your days. The year that closes and the one that opens a part of the time of the Great Tribulation, during which apostasy spreads, wars multiply, natural catastrophes occur in many parts, persecutions intensify, the proclamation of the Gospel it is brought to all peoples, extraordinary phenomena occur in the sky and the moment of the full manifestation of the Antichrist is getting closer and closer. Then I invite you to remain strong in faith, secure in hope and ardent in charity. Allow yourselves to be carried by me and gather all of you in the safe refuge of my Immaculate Heart, which I have prepared for you precisely for these last times. Read with me the signs of your time and live in peace of heart and trust. I am always with you, to tell you that the realization of these signs indicates to you with certainty that the end of time is near, with the return of Jesus in glory. From the fig tree, learn this parable, when its branches become tender and the first leaves appear, you understand that summer is near. Likewise, when you see these things happening, know that your liberation is near. Thank you for supporting my channel. May God bless you and keep you. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us.